Welcome to this tutorial we are doing today on the bones of our skull and what we can see from the superior view here with the top portion of our cranial bones removed so looking straight down to where our brain would be sitting but unfortunately for this poor guy the brain has been removed so that we can focus on the bones. And the first bone here that I've highlighted in yellow is our frontal bone. So our frontal bone being the bone above our eyes, so the most anterior of our cranial bones. And we're also from this view, we're going to be able to see a part of our frontal sinuses. So I'm just outlining those now, our frontal sinuses, forming a cavity in our frontal bone. Next, we'll see our temporal bone. And from this view of our temporal bone, we see what is referred to as the petrous part. Now the petrous part referring to the portion between our sphenoid bone and occipital bones. Now within this petrous part of the temporal bone, we will house the essential organs involved in our hearing. And we'll talk about that a lot more when we discuss our special senses. So moving straight on to our sphenoid bone now, we're going to see uh, two segments of this sphenoid bone. Well, actually three segments. One of them being a part of our greater wing. And our greater wing, I'll just outline here. So the greater wing being this portion uh, more posterior. So this more posterior component here and also our lesser wing. Now the lesser wing being the more anterior of those two components. And if we remembered from our anterior view, we could see part of the greater wing uh, in our optic cavity. The part of the greater wing which I discussed a moment ago, I'm just writing out now, and it's called the hypophyseal fossa of the cella tersica. The cella tersica being uh, a deep depression we have in our sphenoid bone that's going to house our pituitary gland. So just in this area here. And the pituitary gland is the body's powerhouse of hormone production and uh, regulation. The next bone we're going to see here is our parietal bone. So I've just highlighted the parietal bone here in blue. And the parietal bone being the most lateral of the bones of our cranium and posterior to that we have our occipital bone and I'll just point out as well before I go any further now that we have the occipital bone the sphenoid bone and the temporal bone up on the screen highlighted if we look at the portion of the temporal bone that makes contact with our occipital bone and our sphenoid bone that is what we refer to as the petrous part. Okay, now we can move straight on to the features of our occipital bone. The first one being the posterior cranial fossa. Posterior cranial fossa being here. The depression in which we're going to uh, sit the posterior segment of our brain. And I'll just point out as well, I missed earlier that we also have a anterior cranial fossa where the uh, frontal lobe of our brain is going to sit, and that's uh, right here. So this area of the frontal bone is all called the anterior cranial fossa. Now the next segment we're going to see as part of our occipital bone is the foramen magnum. The foramen magnum I'm just outlining here now, and it's the portion of our occipital bone that is a uh, giant hole in which our spinal cord is going to pass through and into our vertebrae or into our spine. And the foramen magnum being one of the uh, largest foramen we have in our body. And I'll just point out another large foramen that we have as part of our uh, occipital bone that is also going to be part of our temporal bone called the jugular foramen. So it's going to be formed by the occipital and the temporal bone. and It's located right here. And it's going to be a point in which uh, several of our cranial nerves will pass through. So we'll talk about it more when we discuss our nervous system in the later videos. 
And the last bone that I'm going to highlight up on the screen here now in green is our ethmoid bone. And once again, we'll speak about our ethmoid bone in the same way we're going to talk about the uh, petrous section of our temporal bone when we start to talk more about our special senses because the ethmoid bone plays uh, a large role in the organs of our sense of smell. Now that's uh, everything I need you to be able to identify on the skull from this superior view. I hope this video has been helpful to you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.